Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. And we are on November 5th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Giving you a space weather update, world weather, and as well earthquakes. Having a quick look here at the last 48 hours on the sun. 304 angstroms. Able to see all of that plasma that we're, we've been noticing the last little bit. A little solar tornado we had and we have... Four active sunspots. Two of them in an earth-facing position. One of them cresting, leaving, and one cresting, coming. Observing the last 48 hours incoming imagery with a little earth to scale. And on the left side, cresting sunspot did release a B-class solar flare. Looking at outgoing images here. Most recent activity coming from the sun in an outgoing position. So no more Earth-directed space weather. We still have upwards 500 kilometers per second solar winds. Looking at another light here, able to see the magnetics pretty much of these sunspots. Especially these three right here that I just pointed out. And cresting in the northwestern region as well. Looking at multi-spectrum right here. And again, we have no space weather has been thwarted our way. We're just waiting for these solar winds to slow down. Another quick map here looking at our the complexities of our sunspots. And the motion. Just amazing. Very tightly whipped up little sunspot here, cresting. Going to be keeping an eye on that. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, you can see not much is heading our way. Regular space weather, a little bit of the CME that shot out the other day. We've got the B and the Cs. But our KP index is definitely lower than it was the other day. We are sitting at a KP of 7 which is the highest we've seen in quite some time. Looking at our solar x-ray flux, we just recently had a C-class flare. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 500 and 540 kilometers per second, spiking up today to highest 627 kilometers. But it has been very fast-moving solar winds the last few days with that X-class flare and all of the Smaller flares that we've seen the last little bit. Having a quick graph here showing you the last 30 days. And our highest reading there was our last little event. 773 kilometers per second. Wow. So definitely seeing solar cycle 25 ramp up. Show you here a quick look at the animations of our magnetosphere. This is the solar wind. The last three hours on our planet. And here is our pressure. Did see a spike here just in the last hour as I was recording this. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 30. Just recently there. Kind of timed with the C-class flare. Power of 30 and a quality of 9.5. Have a quick look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. This is the Walton Earthquake 3D app. You can get this yourself and check, track all the earthquakes just like they do or check in daily with this daily update. We're going to start out here with the largest and most recent 5.2. Just rang out here off the coast of Peru. Secheru, Peru. Pretty sizable earthquake, but the largest of the day, 5.2. And in South America, we're expecting something even larger through Central America. San Antonio de Cobros seeing a deep earthquake there. And as well, Velenor, Chile, 4.9. Dominican Republic seeing earthquakes come back to the region. And the Gulf of California is still going off. Just recently, we saw a 4.6 as well as a 4.3 earlier today. 
So lots of action moving up through the Gulf, California and through Los Angeles. A couple minor earthquakes along the coastline. 3.4 there, Searless Valley. And right up into Petrolia and even a 2.9 there off the coast of Oregon. Activity coming to Alaska this tonight too, the last 48 hours. 4.0 just recently. Russia is seeing a 4.6 and a couple other minor earthquakes. Japan, for Honshu, Japan, 4.9, 343 kilometer depth. Definitely not the deepest of today. And I was expecting deep earthquakes to come from all of this space weather, believe it or not. We did have a lot of pressure on the planet. And most times you can see a lot of deep earthquakes come from that activity. As well, a notable earthquake here, 2.9, really small, but notable, reported in Victoria. Fiji Islands here, 4.5, 430 kilometer depth, as well, 553 kilometer depth. So that's the deepest earthquake of the day. Watch for more to come. Watch for more to come. Looking at the last 24 hours, it seems quiet, but we're seeing a lot of minor rumbles coming to California and Alaska. USGS recording 290 earthquakes the last 24 hours. Having a look at the last seven days across this map from Walton 3D, as you can see, pretty quiet, but a lot of the activity is right along the coastline of South America and North America right now, moving right up into Alaska. A lot of pressure on the North and South American plates. And a lot of pressure is being released on the West Coast Ring of Fire with our volcanoes. Europe, pretty quiet this week. No major earthquakes to report today. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and daily events worldwide. Starting out here in a chilly night here in Ontario. Home base, Brantford, Ontario for now. Chilly nights, but it kind of warms up to a comfortable temperature. And it's set to warm up here the next few days as well. High pressure ridge moving in. Looks like we will be dry here over Ontario up until about... Wednesday or Thursday as that high pressure ridge moves away and possible Colorado low moves in but most of the energy and the moisture is west coast Vancouver BC and north to Alaska still seeing atmospheric river of moisture coming through and more systems on the way and as well cold temperatures moving down from uh, Yellowknife and parts of Alaska really starting to cool off west, northwest Canada. Not so much through Manitoba. They're seeing some pretty above average temperatures. And that seems to be the reoccurring uh, climate look outlook right now across eastern Canada is warm temperatures and cold in the west. Still a lot of snow falling in the foothills. Hovering just above freezing through Alberta. But just showing you the temperatures across Alaska and over into Russia. These colder temperatures are definitely encroaching and we've got a big high pressure ridge there that's getting ready to squeeze down yet again. And mostly likely funnel down some of these cold temperatures from Greenland. Other than that, snow higher elevations and from Oregon northward all along the North American coast. Watch for rain and snow and then a big system to head into California in the long range. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system still just not really ready to leave the Mediterranean as well, high pressure ridge is going to be squeezing through there, drying things out and blocking that low pressure system. But once it lets loose, that's going to head northward and most likely join forces with Arctic lows. Big system coming into parts of Eastern Europe as well, keeping a chill throughout Eastern Europe, Russia and China. Cold temperatures dipping all the way down to Nepal Valley. 
pretty intense system heading towards South and North Korea. But already minus 20 in parts of the Tibetan Plateau. There's the big system heading towards South and North Korea. And in the long range could be a doozy heading towards Alaska. The Pacific Ocean is vigorous right now. Watching a lot of equatorial moisture being sucked and blown northward. Low pressure system here off the coast of India. Still stagnant. We've been talking about this one for days. Other than that, daily evaporation rains through Indonesia. Heavy at times through parts of Sumatra. Overlooking Australia, watch for a lot of rain this week. You could see some flash floods through parts of northeastern. In the long range forecast, you do have a lot of rain. That big system just hanging around, not able to go anywhere. And that is the world weather forecast brought to you by Daily Vans Worldwide. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. Share with your friends and family from around the world. Keeping you aware and prepared. Daily events worldwide. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world